Hey guys, it's John from the VisiCast. I am joined by Callum, who is bringing his demon list. He has recently been to a few tournaments. This is a tournament list, and it's a tournament-style bat rep, so be prepared for that, I have warned you. And I am bringing Grey Knights with a tiny bit of Dark Angels thrown in for good measure. 2,000 points, let's jump into the game. So this is my Mixed Chaos Army, my first attempt uh, at a list in 8th edition. Um, it consists of uh, a mix of Forge World Renegades, Demons, and Heretic Styes. So to start off, I've got a Supreme Command Detachment with Magnus the Red. He has the Tenacious Survivor uh, Warlord ability from the rulebook. He has Smite, uh, Weaver of Zinch to give him plus one to his invulnerable save. He has Death Hex and he has Warp Time from the new Chaos Marine Codex. Uh, the rest of the models in that detachment are three rogue Psycho Covens. These guys come from the Forge World Astra Militarum uh, Index uh, from the Renegade Psycho section. These guys have Creeping Terror and Smite. Next I have a Battalion Detachment which has two Malefic Lords. These guys are again are from the uh, Renegade Astra Militarum list. Uh, both of these have Creeping Terror Smite and Warp Flux. Uh, the rest of that detachment is built up of three units of ten Brimstone Horrors, two Helldrakes with Bale Flamers, and a unit of nine Screamers of Zinch. My last detachment is a Vanguard detachment led by the Changeling, who has Boon of Zinch and Smite, and five individual Flamers of Zinch. So here is my 2000 point Grey Knight list. First up, the first detachment we have is a battalion detachment to give me an additional three command points. In that battalion detachment, it's all Grey Knights, which means I benefit from the Grey Knight rule in that I get plus one to deny the witch tests and to psychic tests. My two HQ choices are, of course, two Grandmasters in Nemesis Dread Knight armor. Um, I'm really glad that they brought that as a thing that you could do with Grey Knights. The first Grandmaster in Dread Knight armor has a relic, and the relic he has is the Domina Liber Demonica. I believe that's the only one you can take on a uh, Grandmaster in Nemesis Dread Knight armor. Um, and his Warlord trait is First to the Fray. First to the Fray allows me to re-roll charge distances for models within a certain range. And he is equipped with weapons, as you see, so heavy incinerator, heavy side cannon, and two Dreadfists. In terms of his psychic powers, he has Sanctuary and Vortex of Doom. The second Grandmaster in Dread Knight um, armor doesn't have a relic, obviously, because you're only allowed one. Uh, has a Dread Knight, teleport, Dread Knight Teleporter, and the last one also had a Dread Knight Teleporter, I forgot to mention. And then Heavy Cinerator, Heavy Psychan, and two um, Fists. And the psychic powers he has are Purge Soul and Sanctuary. Then we move on to our three troops choices. We have two squads of 10 Strike Marines, and they are just standards with swords, no side cannons in those. And then we have one squad of um, uh, just a car, five regular Grey Knights, and a side cannon. And then moving into a heavy support slot, we have another Nemesis Dread Knight, just a standard one. Again, loaded out the same with a Dread Knight teleporter, heavy incinerator, heavy side cannon, and he knows the hammer hand psychic power. Then we move on to an Airwing Detachment, and this is a Dark Angels Detachment. We have three Ravenwing Dark Talons. I know I needed some sort of um, air support in this game, and I knew that Callum was bringing some filth, so I thought I needed to sort of bring my own filth. Apologies for that. However, uh, I don't have any Grey Knight flyers painted up, and I've just finished painting these guys up, so these are going to be my flyers for the near future. So that is my 2,000 point list. Let's jump into the game.
Hey guys, so here we are. The mission we are playing is a Maelstrom mission, and it's the Maelstrom mission Cleanse and Capture, which is basically you have three tactical objectives every turn, and you should always have three in your hand. It's the most basic one. And the deployment type is Frontline Assault. Uh, Frontline Assault is the one whereby there is only an 18 inch uh, distance between the armies at a central point here. Other than that, you're in sort of a spearhead type deployment. Um, I'll walk you through where our objectives are as well. We have objective two just over here. In that building with the Grey Knights there, what number is that over there, Callum? Uh, that is six, I believe. Cool, objective yep. six. We have objective one just here. Uh, behind, you can just see that little bit of blue. What have we got numbered there? Uh, that's objective three. Three, we have just down here, objective five. And that makes that objective four, correct? Yep. Cool. Good mess. So that is um, where the objectives are. In terms of deployment, I won the roll off to place the. F no, you Marvel, won the. Yeah. Callum won the roll off to place the first objectives, therefore I placed the last one. Rolled for the deployment map. Thank you guys for pointing out that we had been doing deployment wrong. You do still roll for it. Um, it's just you could potentially use a command point to re roll if you really wanted to. Um, and then Callum had a lot more drops, so I put a lot of stuff in Deep Strike Reserve. As you can see over here, we have my two Grandmaster Nemesis Dread Knights and my 10-man Strike Squad. Um, and then the rest of it I put on the board. Uh, when we were placing the objectives, I think we are both playing it fairly tactically. I wanted to keep things fairly close together. So as you've noticed, we are severely lacking of objectives in this part of the board. My range is 24 and my movement's quite slow for a majority of my stuff. Although I'm sure that benefits Callum as well, to be fair. Um, but hey-ho. Um, in terms of deployment, Callum, what you've done is really smart. So Callum is just generally a really good player and he goes to a lot of tournaments. So if you want to learn stuff, he is the man to learn stuff from. The list is well built itself and this is essentially kind of a test game for a tournament tomorrow in Portsmouth. It is in Portsmouth, it's a confrontation one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's the Summer Showdown, so they're one day first 8th edition event. Yeah, uh, so they do really good events, I'd suggest you look out for them. Um, but if you talk us through what you've done with your deployment, because it's quite smart. Cool, so uh, what I've done is I have essentially bubble wrapped the entirety of all the squishy things in my army with uh, three units of Brimstone Horrors. Yes. Um, they're great little resilient units for being three points with a four up and vulnerable save. Um, around them I've spread out my Psychic Covens as well, because they give me a good uh, spread of uh, a decent chance of getting the high level Smite uh, across the table as well. Um, all of the things with the Demon and Zinch keywords, which includes Magnus and the Helldrakes, uh, is within nine inches of the Changeling. So uh, John is going to be minus one to hit in shooting and in combat. And it's, it is pretty genius. So the way that he has deployed things does mean that the changeling, because it's all conga lined, is within pretty much everything. Um, and the stuff that isn't in our characters, so it's irrelevant anyway. So I can't obviously shoot them without them being the closest. So it's just smart deploying, basically. Um, yeah, OK, I think that's pretty much it. We now need to do a CZ initiative roll. I'll very quickly say what my deployment is. I've just kept things in cover to give them plus one, although obviously if he's using psychic abilities like um, Smite or anything else like that, there'll be more wounds, so it's irrelevant on the cover front. And my flyers are just there and over there. So, we're on to CZ initiative, Callum. So, give it a good go. Yeah, Mr. Threepwood, roll in that. <laughs> oh Six. my god! Without a reroll, <laughs> what the hell? I was thinking all this week. I've been thinking to myself, please God, please God, don't roll a six, don't seize on me, because if you seize on me, this is going to be a bloodbath. It's going to get messy. And he just seized on me. So I think I was in with a better shout if I had first turn, just because I knew what I was doing, and I knew I would have have first turn, yeah. um, and I knew it would come down to a seize. But yeah, that's um, unlucky on my part, quite. Significantly unlucky. So we shall get over to turn one for the demons. Okay, we are on demons turn one. Callum has pulled the objective secure objective three, area denial, and secure objective two. 
which is quite a good haul. Area denial just basically just hold the middle of the board, which as the deployment type has already dictated is clear, which is nice. Objective three, where is objective three? It's over here. Just so. there, so unclaimed at present. Um, and objective two is, is claimed by the streamers. Uh, I did forget to do a quick shout out. So um, we are sponsored by War Games. They are linked below, please check them out. It's discounted miniatures. And over here, as you can see, this is provided by the XLC. The XLC do really cheap, yet yeah, really nice scenery. That's some Visicast brand stuff. You can buy that, um, and I'd highly recommend getting it for your board because it's some nice little addition. Again, linked below. And if you can, press subscribe, share with your friends, do anything, it would be greatly appreciated. So Callum, if you can talk us through what you've done with your movement. Cool, so um, unexpectedly getting the first turn is, uh, is super nice. So yeah. I've been really aggressive with um, both of my Heldrakes and Magnus. Yes. So these two boys are essentially going to start picking on the stuff over here. Yeah. Uh, Magnus is sort of taking a central position in the board, um, ready to cast some psychic powers. And if you get some of them off, hopefully be here at the end of the turn, smashing up some flyers. Okay, so the psychic phase, what do we have? So I'm going to start off with uh, this rogue psychic coven. Yep. Down here. They are going to cast Smite. Yes. At the closest visible unit, which should be these boys. Okay. So they are within 18. Yep. So these guys have a really cool special rule. Yeah. So they can opt to take D3 mortal wounds to roll oh. three dice to cast and dispel. Oh, wow. So I'm going to do that. So they're going to okay. take D3 and take a mortal wound. So this guy at the back will take a wound. Yeah, sure. He's got two left. Yep. And then they're going to smite these boys. Okay. So. You get off, so, oh, it goes off on a seven, I get to deny. Goes off on a seven, and I do perils as well. Oh, of course, double one. Yeah. But do you not pick, or is it just... Uh, you no, 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 dice? it's just three dice, add them all together. Fair enough. Um, so I'm going to try and deny, I get plus one, because I am Grey Knights. Seven is equal. Equal, so you need to beat I it. I need to beat it, fine. So it goes off, yeah, so it's regular smite. It's, it's not, um, regular, reduced. yeah. So it's not, um, it's not reduced, and I didn't get uh, over ten, so it's not d6. Yeah. So I take the d3 mortal wounds first. Uh, so they take three, so this guy dies. Yeah, it's just it. D3 mortal wounds on them. Yeah. So it's two. Two, so that is two marines gone. If you... What's up next? So I'm going to have the changeling. Where's the changeling? He's Sorry. over here. Yeah, okay. He is going to cast Boon of Zeech on Magnus. Yes. Um, so essentially it's a seven to cast. Yeah. And I roll a D3 and he'll gain a benefit until my next psychic okay. phase. Now I can't deny that because I'm out of range. Yeah, out uh, of 24. Three. So it is cast on an eight. Yeah. Good job. So I roll a d3 on a uh, one to two, it's plus one attack. Yeah. Three to four, it's plus one strength. Five or six, it's plus one toughness. Cool. So you've got plus one strength. Three. Not what he needs, because he's already strength 16 in combat, but. Wow. It will do. Okay, so Magnus is going to cast Weaver of Fates on himself. Okay. So he gets plus two to cast, yep. and it's a six. This will give him plus one to his invulnerable save until my next turn. Fair enough. So he's got that on a nine. Yep. Uh, so he'll get a three up in vulnerable save now. Uh, reason it's a nine, you get plus two. Plus two for Magnus yeah, at the moment. Go. Cool. Uh, so that's all good for him. He's then going to cast Warp Time on himself. Of course. Get him to make is, another move. Are any of my units within 24? 24. Obviously, that one's already denied. So it'll have to be the one next to it. It's another five man squad. Yeah, they're well within 24. Sweet. So let's try and get this off. So I get that on a seven. I will use one of my eight command points yep. to reroll the one. Cool. So oh. I've got it on a 12. 12. So the chance of me denying that, uh, almost nil. I was thinking about using, I forget which the stratagem is called, I'm just having a look now. But basically there's um, a stratagem which allows me to roll three dice and pick yeah. the two highest. But I I have to perils. No, yeah. I. Yeah, you don't perils on a deny, but you still have to roll a double oh, six. I see. I still have to roll a double six. The chance of me doing that are slim. However, I don't think I'm going to be around that long, so I am going to spend one of my points to use that stratagem. I believe it's a one command point. Just going to check. It's two command points, so I've expended two of my command points, leaving me with five. And I'm going to roll three dice, and we're hoping to get two sixes. We get one six, unfortunately, so no. Cool. It still goes off. So Magnus gets to make a move. Yes. Uh, walk time is basically, he gets to move, move again, again, essentially. Yeah. So he's going to make another 16 inch move. Yeah. So it's going to bring him. Going towards the fires. Yeah. 
essentially popping him there. Sweet. What is up next? Um, so Magnus will do his last psychic power of the turn. Yeah. Uh, he's going to cast Smite, and it'll be at this plane. Okay, cool. Go for it. So he's got it on an eight. Goes an eight. I'm going to try and deny with the squad that is closest up in that building. Uh, does not deny it. Does D3 not. wound. It's oh, it's D6 because of Magnus. Yeah, if he rolled a 10 or more, he does 2D6. Oh, wow. So he does six to it. Perfect. Boom. In one Guns. power on the uh, flyer. So I'll add that now. Okay, so we've added the wounds. He has four wounds left. He starts with 10 on that Dark Talon. What's up next? Um, I think the rest of my stuff is actually going to be out of range. Okay. Um, so that's my psychic phase done. Sweet. Over to the shooting phase. Do you know what you're shooting? Um, yes. Cool. So, what's happening? So, we're going to start off with this Heldrake. Yeah. Shooting at this plane with okay. his Bale Flamer. Yeah. So, it's got an 18 inch range. Yes. Does D6 hits automatically. So oh six. my god. Yeah. Uh, it's strength six with minus two to your save doing two damage. Okay. So it's toughness. Toughness is six. Six. So it's fours. Yeah, fours to wound. Two just, wounds? Just the two, minus two. Okay, so that is a five plus save. Uh, passing one, failing one. So he has lost a wound. He's on nine wounds. Uh, it's two, that is damage two. Okay, he's on eight wounds. So What's up next? Um, the other Helldrake is going to go for him as well. Okay. Rolling to see how many hits you get. Yeah. Automatic hits because it's flamer. Three. Three. And then wounding on fours, as we were before. Two. two wounds, two five plus saves. Gonna make them both or just the one. So he is now down to six wounds. Good job. What is up next, Callum? Um, that is actually my shooting phase done. That's the, all of your That's shooting phase? Yeah, everyone else is out of range, really wow. short range. Not a lot of shooting in this list. Okay, uh, and assault phase, we're going to skip that and we're going to get straight <laughs> over to... No, we're not, Okie dokie. So uh, I'm going to start off with Magnus. Obviously, yeah. He's going to declare a uh, charge against both of these dark cannons. Cool, I get to fire Overwatch. So the Rift Cannon is going to go first. So the Rift Cannon off the first Dark Town. Actually, should I do them both at the same time? Do them both at the same time. So both do D3, so we have one, two, three, four, five shots in total. They're gonna to be hitting on sixes. So we have one hit. What's his toughness? He is toughness seven. Cool, and the strength of this is 10, so three is to wound. It does a wound. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing with, it's just his invulnerable save, it's minus three AP. Yep, so he'll go for his now three up invulnerable save and he rerolls ones as well. Fair enough. It's only a two that'll get through, no, so that's fine. And then we'll do some hurricane bolt shots. Okay, so we are doing these in batches of 12 and there are gonna be a total of 48 shots. So the first batch of 12 hitting on sixes, we have two wounds there. Uh, and then, oh, sorry, two hits and then see if we wound. That's one, uh, so wound. That's one wound. Yeah. The second batch of 12, rolling to see if we hit on sixes. Oh, outside of Guybrush. Uh, we have, do I knock that? Uh, no, I, I think that was a hit. So. Cool. And then rolling to wound. Mm, no wounds. And the third lot of 12. Sixes. We have two rolling to wound on those. So two, two wounds. And then the last lot of 12. Sixes. One, two, three. And rolling to wound again. No, no more. So just three saves. Indeed. He'll take them on his invulnerable save, so he yep. gets the rerolls uh, of ones. Fine. So, so it's basically two's wound. Yeah. So uh, Reroll the it. one. Yeah. And then for Tenacious Survivor, oh, of course, he ignores on it on the six. No, he no. takes a wound. Wait, how many is he down 17 to? left. Okay. Not too uh, many. Sweet. Are and there then, any other charges? Um, I'll do his assault roll and then move on to the cool. next assault. So. He is going seven inches. Please tell me it's not enough. Please tell me it's not enough. Uh, he is within eight inches of both, so he will assault both. Damn it. So he's going to go seven. The wing's going to fall off. There he is. To there. Cool. And they are dead flyers. <laughs> What's up next? Um, this Helldrake is going to charge the uh, squad of marines that uh, just took a couple of wounds. Yeah, just the, uh, just the four. Cool. So it's rapid fire two, and you're in range, 12 inch range, I believe. Yep. So it's actually quite a few shots from the Storm Bolters. Okay, again, hitting on sixes. Uh, just a one, wounding on a five. Nope. See if you're in. Six, I don't know uh, if he's going to you're in, yeah. Uh, yeah, he'll get within an inch of the closest guy. So Sweet. He's going to swoop down there. 
Any more charges? Um, we'll try and charge this Heldrake and him. Yeah, okay. get in so you get to Overwatch. Right, so Rift Cannon, see how many shots we got. We've got three, three hitting on sixes. Uh, for none, and then we'll obviously do the Hurricane Bolters as well. So we have 24 shots in batch of 12, hitting on sixes. So the first batch we just have one, we're going to have five. Nope, and the second batch, <laughs> hitting on sixes. For just the one hit, we're hitting on a five. Yeah. Yeah, so he's got three up save. Loves it. Passes. Cool, see if he's in, two dice. Yeah. This is a slightly longer charge. No, no it's not it's Okay, uh, we will, we'll show Magnus's and we'll summarize the other one. Yeah. So Magnus's Assault. Yeah. So he has seven attacks. Yeah, so we see the Assault going on just over here. Yeah, so we'll move the dice tray. So do you allocate... Um, so I allocate a number of attacks to each unit. Fine. Three and four. Here we'll have three attacks at the damaged one. Yeah. And four on the other one. Fine. So we'll do the uh, on the damaged one first. Yeah. He hits on twos. Because yeah. he's within nine inches of himself, he rerolls ones as well. Fine. So twos are rerolls to hit. Three, two hits. And he is now strength 17. So he's wow. wounded on twos. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I will use a command point to reroll that. Yep. That's embarrassing. And that's minus 40 a save. So no save. Doing three damage each. So he's gone. Yep. So uh, on a six, explodes. No. no. And then four attacks on the other one. Yes. Hit on twos of rerolls. Full hit. And twos again. So he does nine wounds to him, and I can't reroll that because I've already used that strategy. You can, so that one is left with one mm. wound. And very quickly, over here, the, um, I forgot what they're called. Heldrake? Heldrakes. Uh, he, Heldrake did one um, wound, essentially, uh, and one Grey Knight died, and I managed to do no wounds back. That is, however, the end of Callum's turn. In terms of your objectives, what have you secured? Yeah, so I've secured objective two. Yes. And I believe I've secured area, area denial, denial for D3 as well. Oh yeah, so if you want to roll your D3. Yeah. That's two. Two, so that's three victory points in total on turn one. And we shall move over to Grey Knight's turn one. Do you have problems rolling dice? Do you hate that questionable rolling technique? Well, those issues are things of the past. With the Visicast Dice Tower from the XLC. Roll sixes on all of your dice, all of the time. All this and more, just follow the link in the description below. It is Grey Knight turn one. We have Big Game Hunter, priority orders received, assassinate and scour the skies. The more observant of you would realize that basically means kill Magnus. However, Magnus has a three plus invulnerable save and is re-rolling ones and has tenacious survivor for a six plus. And he has how many wins left? 16? 17 left. 17. So the chance of that happening are exactly 0%. <laughs> so I have decided not to do that. Additionally, more tactical genius from Callum uh, this probably isn't going to be the longest game, I apologise for that, however, you will learn a lot from this game because Callum does play very, very well. And what he has done here is brilliant. So it came to my deep strike, um, and obviously I have three Nemesis Dread Knights, two being Grandmasters, and one squad of ten Grey Knights here, strike, squ uh, strike Marines to come in. Unfortunately for me, although fortunately for Callum, and well thought out, I can't really place them anywhere, so the idea is, and if I would have gone first this wouldn't have been an issue, they all have to deep strike together and then the Grandmaster allows them to A, re-roll their charge distances and B, re-roll ones to hit, which is obviously very, very good when you're going to be shooting at stuff. However, the way that Callum has placed stuff, even placing single models, so these characters here and here, essentially the, I could, the only place I can deploy on the whole board is there. Uh, there for the Marines and I've had to position them because it's that tight that that's the only way I could fit them all in to do that weird shape um, and then over here which is completely <laughs> out of the fight like there's nothing so the way he's put his Heldrakes even over here Heldrake unit here it's got to be nine inch from enemy models I, this is all just dead area these brimstones really cheap models means I can't go in back here and as I previously stated down in this corner which is ideally where I want it to go um, I can't put anything because he's put his uh, Exalted Flamer just down here and he's got his Screamers and everything positioned. So he really has done me over. 
in terms of his <laughs> um, his positioning, but it's well thought through. Um, so basically, that explains my my movement. Essentially, I've had to keep the the dreadnoughts back there. I think I have okay. Been. Over to the psychic phase. You will see down here the unit of two grey knights that were in combat with the Heldrake have pulled back. They are going to be casting Smite, and they're going to cast it on the Heldrake nearest them because obviously it's the closest unit. Casting on a five, however, um, plus one, uh, and I'll get that for all Grey Knights, but it's relevant, it goes off on a five. Yep. Do you have anything within 24? Yeah, so we've got all of these guys that are Psychers. Sweet. So these boys are going to suffer D3 mortal wounds. Yes. Roll three dice at it. Cool. Uh, so they take two, so that uh, guy's head explodes and he dies. Yep. Um, and then, so I deny that Denied. one 11. Okay, fine. Uh, the next squad, Next to him, the squad of uh, six, is it, or five? Yeah, I'm gonna also cast it on the Heldrake going off on a 10. A 10. Um, I'll let that happen. Okay, so it's just, a, it's he's just, a demon. He is a demon, so it's straight, straight three mortal wounds. Okay, uh, next up, the Nemesis Dread Knight on the left, you can see up here, closest model to him is also the Heldrake. So rolling for Smite. Woo! Goes off on goodness. So perils, it goes off on thirteen. Roll it. So that yeah. would be a perils, but I'm going to use a, and it's always three. There's no change. But I'm going to use a command point to reroll that six. To give me a two. So it goes off on nine. nine. So uh, Magnus will try and stop it. Yeah. So he's got. He can deny three times at plus two. So he stops on the thirteen. Fine. Uh, next up, that one. Oh, sorry, he is just a bog standard Nemesis Dread Knight, so he has no extra abilities he can cast. He can only cast one. The next one along is the Grand Master. He so, the Grand Master, the one who is my Warlord, has um, Sanctuary, Vortex of Doom, and obviously Smite. He is going to cast Sanctuary on himself. Two dice. Goes off on five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Magnus, try and stop that. Yep. Uh, he doesn't. So okay, so he now has Sanctuary. You can pop that next to him just so you remember. <laughs> and he is also going to cast Smite. I believe the closest model you can see is also the Heldrake. Yeah. So rolling to see if we can get it off. So that goes off on an 8, plus 1 because I'm a Grey Knight. Uh, yep, so Magnus has stopped that again for his last time. Uh, that's an 8, so he doesn't deny it. Um, I'll just let that go, that's fine. Cool, okay, so that's another 3 wounds towards the Heldrake. So he's got 6 left. The last Nemesis Dread Knight, can he see Magnus? Uh, yeah, this guy will be able to see Magnus. He can see Magnus. Okay, so we'll go with Smite on that one as well. Goes off on five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've got no one to stop that there, so he takes three, so he just ignores them on sixes. Yeah. No, so, so he is Magnus down to three wounds. 14 wounds. Cool, and now we're going to cast Purge Soul. Purge Soul has a warp charge value of five. If manifested, pick a visible enemy unit within 12 inches. I believe he's just in 12, should we double check? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then we'll basically roll off on leadership. So first I need to see if the power goes off, and it does. You can't stop it, because you've it. already rolled. Yeah. Now we roll off for leadership. So I roll a six, you roll a five. Oh I believe your leadership is probably higher, being yeah. that you are a Primarch demon thing, and I'm just a, uh, yeah. So we'll go with no wounds. Unfortunately, I'm only leadership 9 and Magnus is 10, so there are no wounds there. Um, so that's, I did smite him as well, didn't I? Yep. Cool, so that's that done. Now we'll move down here, these Grey Knights here. I believe the closest, well, it's equidistant, because I had to put them equidistant from these two. Yep. So does that mean I choose? You pick a model in the unit that counts as the caster. Ah, so I you see. Can, so you could manipulate so it to be one unit or okay. the other. Yeah. In that case, I will choose this side, and I'll go on the Screamers. So this guy is going to be the caster, essentially. Yeah. Casting onto the screamers, wanting to see if it goes off. Uh, it does not. Uh, and that is the end of my psychic phase. All the green knights have done their thing. So, oh no, sorry, we have the big squad up the top of yeah, the tower. Sort of them. Closest being Magnus. So, wanting to see if they get it off. They do. Yep. Yeah, so Straight up three wounds. Three wounds, so ignoring them on sixes again. No, no three down, more wounds. Down to 11. Wow, okay, so he has taken quite a bit actually. Although shooting is going to be far less effective because of his saves and his rerolls. So, uh, moving on to the shooting phase, we shall start here. The um, Dark Talon just here has flown over Magnus. He's in hover mode, which means he can drop his bomb on Magnus, which he shall do. So, dropping his bomb on Magnus, um, it's just a four plus as a mortal wound. So, he has a mortal wound. So, he ignores that on a six. 
No. Right, so that's an additional wound on Magnus. Please. This might not be wise, but I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So this Rift Cannon here is shooting back at Magnus. He is at a modified profile because he's only on one wound. So he's, his ballistic skill is five and his Rift Vortex activates on a five as well. So Rift Cannon, D3 shots for two. Hitting on five, oh sorry, not hitting on fives. Heavy weapon and it's moved. So sixes. Sixes. Oh. Double six. Goodness. Both have hit. Yep. Strength 10, so, so threes. Two wounds. So it's three off invulnerable saves. Absolutely invulnerable saves. Loves it. Passes both, that's fine. And then we'll do the hurricane bolters as well. So we'll do these in batches of 12 as we have done before. Oh, Rolling to hit on, this is sixes, this is fives. fives. Yep. Although it's usually plus one reset skill. No, because he has the fly keyword, it yep. doesn't work cool. that way. So it's fives. So the first batch we have four hits, going to wound on fives. Yep. For one wound, and then I'll do the second batch as well. Going to hit on fives. Oh. Nice, Good. and then rolling to wound on fives. Have an additional one wound, so that's two in total, wasn't it? Yeah, so straight on his invulnerable save, so he gets the rerolls of the ones. Like yeah, three on his one. Loves it. Passes both. Okay, moving on to more shooting. These Grey Knights you can see just here, I have put them all within 24 inch range of the Screamers just down here. I'm going to fire them first because Callum is probably aware that they are just within 24 inches and if he is smart and I do other wounds to him, we'll remove um, the closest model which will stop me shooting them. So we are going to go with, although do I shoot them at the, hell, how many wounds is the Helldrake on? It's got six left. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it keep it on the Screamers. How many are there in total over there? Uh, there's nine. Oh no, oh, for these boys, squads, um, yeah. so five. five. Right five. hit on yeah. fours, so yeah. Callum has positioned them within range of the changeling, it's down yeah. here, they are within range to get minus one to hit, so I'm going to be hitting on fours. I'm re-rolling ones however, because the Grandmaster is now, yep. I believe, within uh, range. Is that, six that inches, one, yeah, he's, he's in. You sure? Yeah. Uh, so hit on fours. And roll into wound on fours, yeah? Yep. Okay, just the two wounds. So just four up and vulnerable. Yep. Oh, drop one. Oh, cool, so. one screamer is down. Next up, we have this Dark Talon here, and he has flown over, so I get to drop a bomb on the guys. There are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I get to roll eight dice. And on four pluses, they take mortal wounds. So we have a total of one, two, three. Three, three mortal wounds. And this guy will take a wound. Cool. Next up we have the Rift Cannon from that same guy. See how many shots we got? We got two shots. Yep. It is going to be hitting on a four, because it moves in its heavy weapon. So one hit. It's going to be wounding on a two. Wounds. So four up and vulnerable. Vulnerable save. Maybe it's three. Fails. Uh, it does three damage straight up. So it kills that guy. Another one done. And then we get to roll to see if it does additional. So on a four plus. Nope, failed. It would have done an additional D3 mortal wounds. In fact, do I use another command point? Uh, yeah, Make screw it rain. It. Why Make not? it rain command Why not? Points. Here we go. Yeah, yeah an additional beautiful. D3 for one. <laughs> one more mortal wound. Uh, the hurricane bolters are going to be shooting at them now. So, hurricane bolters. Two lots of 12, hitting on. Still fours. Fours, the yes. Is. So. Uh, I'm not re-rolling any, so that's that many, and then wounding on fours. So we have three from the first batch, and the second batch hitting on fours, and then fours. So that's um, so three six. more. Four plus and rolling the saves. Uh, so three. three. So that's another two down. Cool. Now, this squad here, uh, they should all be within 12 inches of the Screamers. They are going to fire. So they are rapid fire two, which means because there are 10 of them and it's rapid fire two, that's 40 shots. That's right. So we'll do them in batches of 10. So in batches of 10, we have the first lot hitting on fours, wounding on fours. Oh, sorry, I didn't roll that. One wound. Second lot hitting on fours. Change Lynn doing his work. Yeah, wounding on fours. One more wound. Third lot hitting on fours and wounding on fours. That's a bit more like it. Four more. Six. And it's the last lot, isn't it? Yep. Fours followed by fours. 
No more. So six saves. For 40 shots, that's not as great as I thought it would be, but hey ho, these things happen. Uh, so uh, another one and a half down. Cool. Okay, up here in this building, as you can see, these grey knights just here are all within 24 inch range of the screamers. So I'm gonna keep shooting at those guys because I think I might be able to take them down and then we'll move over to the Dread Knights who are hopefully gonna kill Haldrake. So the side cannon is gonna shoot first. He did not move, therefore he's firing four shots, hitting on fours, hitting with two of them, wounding on threes because it's strength seven. No wounds, unfortunately. And then we have the Stormbolter shots. Six, they have two shots each, so they're a rapid fire two. I want to hit on fours. That changeling is a boss, isn't he? Yep. How many points is he? He's 100 points. It's a lot of value. Yeah. It's better than the um, Dark Shroud as well. Mm -hmm. Four wounds. Yep. So, saves on those. Ooh. We have lost, oh, four failed. Yep. So, oh, so we only have one left on one wound. Yes, yeah, so he's probably gonna pop unless I wanna spend some command points. Yeah, I suppose you wanna spend two command points to keep one model alive. Probably. Okay, over here. Uh, we're going to start with the Nemesis Dread Knights. The one on the far left you see here is in range of his heavy incinerator of the Helldrake. He's going to fire his heavy incinerator at that Helldrake and he's going to fire his heavy side cannon at these dudes here. Mm -hmm. So, heavy incinerator is D6 automatic hits for five. Nice. So, it is strength six. Yep, toughness seven, so five. Okay, so five's the wound. We wound just the once. Cool, so it would just be a, was it minus one? Minus, minus one, I believe. Heavy incinerator is minus one. Minus one, so four up save. Chins off. Fine, okay. And then the heavy side cannon is six shots. Uh, he has moved, so he is hitting on fours because he's not a grandmaster. Yep. Hitting with three of those. Are they toughness four? These boys are toughness three, so okay, it's going to be so twos. Two. So we have three wounds. Yep, so they'll just be on their five up and vulnerable saves. Yep. Uh, so they've got three, three wounds, wounds each. each. So it's basically- Just one guy. Just one guy, because obviously the wounds, standard wounds do not carry over, mortal wounds do. That's that one sorted. We'll move on to the next Nemesis Dread Knight along. Everything from the gra from the Grandmaster Nemesis Dread Knight, uh, second one along, is going into the Helldrake. So the incinerator for three, uh, and then wounding on fives. No wounds, and then the heavy side cannon. This is going to be hitting on threes because he is usually ballistic skill two. Oh, and I'm re rolling ones, I need to remember that. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, they all hit. Wounding on toughness is seven, seven. right? Yep. So fours. Uh, we have two wounds. It's minus. Minus one. Uh, so fours. Yeah. Chins it. Fine. Uh, cool, that's that. And then the last Nemesis Dread Knight is going to fire his heavy incinerator at Magnus, because he's the closest model to him, yeah. and he's going to fire his side cannon at the Helldrake. So the incinerator for D6, getting just the one. That's what you need. I guarantee this will go through though, you know it will. <laughs> Rolling to wound. No. Nope. And then the uh, side cannon on the Helldrake. Again, uh, this is hitting on threes, rerunning ones thanks to the Grandmaster. I'd probably be missing quite a few. Actually, no, a lot of them are out of range. I think they're the only ones in range. Um, and then Ryan's wound. So, two. Two wounds. So, one cool. gets uh, It does two damage, two damage. So, down to four wounds left. Okay, cool. That is it in terms of my shooting. So, we'll get over to the assault phase. I am going to... He's got a bell flamer, right? Yep. How many hits is that? D6, D6 strength hits. six, minus two. So if I charge with the net, with the Grey Knights just there, I've got to do it, haven't I? So the Grey Knights, who are, because I've got to get them out of the way to be able to get my Grand Master in, essentially, right? Yep. I'm going to have to charge them first to get them more out of the way so that these other enemies yeah, are they can essentially just charge up to here. So it should Basically. be able to get out of the way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna charge so, Overwatch. So the Bale Flamer. Yeah. One. Me one. That's what we wanted. So three to wounds. And it's minus two. Yeah, so it's five up. No, so uh, damage two? Uh, oh, yeah, but it's matter. just one. It's irrelevant. So the one off the back dies, yeah. And then I see if I get in. Of course we do get in. Yeah. Um, 
So, mm. although it's only four inches, I have to go through terrain. Does that slow me? Um, I don't know how yeah, it works. through the woods you have to. So, uh, but you only have to get within an inch. So if they conga yeah. towards that end of him, they so should be able to clear Oh, away. yeah, it's fine. So he can go down to there. So now we are going to charge this Nemesis Dread Knight in. So these are getting re-rolls to charge as well because of the Warlord trait. So see if we're in. Failed. I'm going to re-roll. Re-roll both dice? Yeah. Uh, six, six fails. Eight, yeah. Okay, well, he needed a nine. It was uh, a well definite up. nine. The next one along, uh, is he even going to be... I think he's probably out. Um, Such a long range. He will need an 11 to get in. Well, I mean, yeah, we're going to lose nothing. Let's do it. Oh, Whoa! It loves it. And that is the Grandmaster as well. So he plods in. Um, and that's it for my charges, really. Uh, I, I don't know if there's... There are other things I could do. I could charge Magnus, but, I mean, it just gives him an, another opportunity to it's hit me. <laughs> and I'm not going to kill him uh, in close combat, I don't think. So, that's it. We'll summarise that assault. So, a little bit of a summary. This combat over here, I managed to wipe out the Helldrake before he got to strike back. So, Helldrake down. We do have some break tests on morale tests. Yep. to take. So we have a morale test for the Screamer, who is just down here. Uh, he basically yep. is going to fail. Automatically fails. Yeah, there you go. So that Screamer is dead. So the squad of Screamers is down, which I'm very happy about. And then this Rogue Psychic Oven also needs a yep. check. So they've lost two, so their leadership seven, so they love it. Absolutely fine. Cool, that is the end of Grey Knight Turn 1. I'll be honest, guys, that went better than I thought it did. Um, I know Callum will have a very, very hard strike next turn, because a lot of his stuff is going to be in range. Um, however, that went better than I thought it did. So, in terms of my objectives, Big Game Hunter, one VP if at least one uh, enemy unit with wounds characteristics of 10 or more was destroyed during this turn. Yeah. That was done, by your warlord, and it was done well. by the Warlord. So I have achieved Big Game Hunter. Does that wait? So And you get additional D3, I think. Yeah, so I get one for Big Game Hunter, D3, or is it three? have a little quick read objective and an additional three points Ooh, it's not okay. even a roll so that alone is four Maybe. victory points i also secured scout the skies for killing a uh, uh, model with the fly so i've got five vps yeah. in one turn in the lead which is actually quite impressive um so uh, Grey Knight's doing fairly well assassinate i'm going to keep there are so many characters in Callum's yeah. army it's almost yeah. impossible not to get that so we will move over to demons turn two We are on Demon's turn two. Callum has pulled object Defend Objective 2, Defend Objective 3, and Secure Objective 3. Objective 2 is just there. Uh, and he's obviously capturing that with a character. And then Objective 3 uh, being held by the Hell Drake just there. Right, movement. Talk us through what you've done, Callum. Cool. Um, so this turn was all about bringing all of my other Psycho squads and all my Exalted Flamers into play. Yeah. Because um, Magnus and the Helldrakes have bought me a turn to advance. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be star blasting with loads of smites, loads of flames of zinch, mm -hmm. and see what we can scrape off. Cool. Psychic phase. What have we got? We're going straight so, into it. Yeah, we're going to um, start off with this uh, depleted Psycho squad. Yes. They're going to take D3 damage to smite the Grandmaster. Cool. So they take D3 mortal wounds, take two. So this little fella's got a wound left. And then casting smite on three dice at him. Get it on a 10, so still just D3 wounds. Cool, okay, and I'll try and yeah. deny that. Yep. Uh, so which squad should I use to deny? I'll use this squad here, I guess. Yep. So there's two squads. There's a squad of two, two and a squad of four. four. So I'll use a squad of two, see if we deny it. No, no. Off. So D3, two model two. wounds. Um, that's on the... On the... Right, I have a stratagem, just need to check this. Okay, yeah. I'm going to spend one command point to use True Silver Armour. True Silver Armour allows me to negate um, mortal wounds in this phase on a 5+, plus, and it will last till the end of the phase. So you did two wounds, two, correct? Yeah. So two 5+, plus, passing one to he only takes the one wound. What, what is up next? Callum? What is up next is the uh, squad behind them doing exactly the same thing. Cool, see if you can get the power off. Yeah, so they'll take D3 damage, so they'll take two wounds as well. Okay. Be on this little bumpkin. Alright, so, so you get it off. 
they get it on a 13. So it's d6 mortal wounds. Okay, no I can't deny that in any way. No, unless you've got plus two, so. Uh, I do not. Cool, so it's d6 mortal wounds. Yeah. Three. Yep. Um, so five pluses. Yeah. Okay, so he's taken one wound one. so far. Uh, he takes another two, so he's taken three wounds. Yeah, he's got nine left, I think. He does indeed. The Malefic Lord, just behind the unit there, they're going to smite him as well. Yep. Oh wait, uh, they're a closer. Uh, don't think he's got line of sight for them because the boxes are in the way. Okay. Uh, so, just a regular old smite on a ten. Cool. It's a nine on two dice. Yep. Yeah, so plus one. Who was uh, denying? Just. Uh, I suppose. Oh, it would have to be. Of, yeah, yeah, that's oh, wait, good. So wait, yeah. we've had one deny there and yeah. another deny there. Yeah. So we'll go with this squad here. Cool. So he didn't deny. No. Uh, so it's just D three. So it's two. two. Two more five plus. Uh, both goes through, so he is down to seven, seven wounds. We are gonna have, uh, we'll go with Magnus next. Yep. Big boy. He is going to cast at Smite on the Grandmaster. Yep. Oh, oh he's got wow. It. He's got it on a 13, so yeah. that's doing two so D6 I, mortal wounds. I can't really do anything. Yeah, go for it. Big boy. That's very unfortunate. 11. 11 mortal wounds. So ignoring them on fives. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Boom! Uh, so that's 10, 11, and fives. I think my grandmaster is dead. Yeah, one, oh, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The grandmaster is dead, say the warlord. Boom. That's what you get for trying to show up and uh, try and fight a Primark. Yeah. Magic finger guns. Right, what's up next? Uh, he is going to cast. Death Hex at this uh, Dread Knight. Yeah. Uh, it's an eight, but if I get it off, it will strip away your invulnerable save. Okay. So I failed. failed, so I'll go down to five command points. Yeah. Three on one. Still no, failed. still failed. Good, I still have my invulnerable save. And that is a five plus on that one because he's not a Grandmaster. Okay, so the only other spell Magnus has left that he's going to cast is. Uh, he's uh, Weaver of Fates to give himself plus one invulnerable save. Cool. And he gets it on a 13. Uh, again, I can't really deny it. I, if I rolled a double six, I could deny it. Is there anything else that can... Double six will put you on 13, so you need to beat oh, it. Oh, I need to beat it, of course. Yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. Um, cool, so some other powers. Yes. I'm going to have that Malefic Lord. Yes. He's going to cast Warp Flux at yep. this. Okay, there's so, no way I can deny that because I'm out of 24. So it's a seven cast. He fails. Fails. That does nothing. And then the coven in front of the plane are going to take D3 mortal wounds. Yeah, it's all happening down here. They take they? two, so one of those will take a wound. Okay. To smite it on 3D6. Uh, so they've got it on an 11, so it's D6 mortal wounds. Cannot deny it, so go on. Is this, this the one on six wounds? Yes, it is, yeah. Go for it. Five. Five. It's down to one wound. Oh, God. See, this is the thing. Um, Smite is very powerful, especially if you're doing it because it's mortal wounds, and you don't even need to roll to hit. No, yeah, it's, it's like it can be a um, if you're able to get it off, especially um, in the volume of rolling over ten. Yes. that you're able to achieve with the psychic covens. Yeah, you can do an absolutely horrific amount of damage. Yeah, it's very. It's like having a couple of Magnuses floating around doing D6 mortal wounds. It's yeah. pretty cool. Um, so the last thing I've got uh, this phase is the. Um, Changeling, right? And he's just going to put Boon of Zinch on himself. And the Changeling is down here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he fails to get it off. Cool. So that is my psychic phase complete. Cool. We'll go to shooting. Do you know what you're going to shoot? Uh, yes. Yeah. Three. Let's so go for it. Going to start off with this Heldrake. Yes. He's just going to bail flamer the two Grey Knights who he's picked on earlier in the game. Yeah. Go for it. So D6 hits. It's four. Yeah. And it's threes to wounds. Yeah. So it's three saves at minus two. Okay, I get plus one for being in cover. Yep. So it's minus one, so essentially four, four plus. plus. Three saves, yeah? Yep. Four plus, so two, there's only two in the squad. Yep, so they, they are, are dead. melted. So that squad is gone. What's up next? Um, we are gonna have, um, I killed the Grand Master, so the Exalted Flamers were gonna blast him, but they're just gonna open up on this Grey Knight squad now. Okay. So they'll fire their uh, big Flames of Zinch. Yep. So the first one, yes. heavy D3. So he's got three shots. Yep. Normally hitting on threes, but now he's hitting on fours. Yep. Uh, so he misses entirely. Triple one. Beep, beep. 
Do you even roll, bro? No. I need to get it in every bat rep, so there it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the second guy will do the same. He's only getting the one shot. Yeah. Misses. And he missed as well, all the ones. Love all it, ones. boys. Yeah. Right, okay. I'm going to have uh, this exalted flamer. Yeah. He is going to open up on this plane with uh, his big flame this one? Uh, this one. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, so he gets D3 shots. Two. Uh, he's hitting on fives because he moved and minus you're one minus hit. one to hit. Flyer. Oh, actually, I dropped down, didn't I? Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, that one, one did drop down, yeah, but they both hit anyway. They both hit, yeah. Uh, so it's strength nine, so it's threes. Yeah. And it's minus 40 a save. Can't do anything. No, it's got. Uh, so on six, it explodes. Five, no. So that flyer is gone, alas. What's up next, Callum? Uh, I will have that exalted flamer in the corner who stood still. Uh, let's have a look down here. Yeah, it's just this one here. He'll use his big flames of Zinch on this fella as well. Okay. So D3 shots. He's only getting one. He's hitting on a four because you are still up in the sky. Yes. He hits. Yeah. And strength nine. Wounds. Wounds minus, minus four. four yeah. yeah. So he's oh, dead. Oh, he's dead. He's only got one wound. Let's see Another if he five gone. What's up next? Um, I believe. That is all my shooting. Right, assault. What are you charging? Magnus. Yes. The red. Yes. He is going to charge. Yes. Uh, he got the plus one vulnerable save. He's going to charge both dread knights. Okay, fine. So we are going to do some Overwatch. Come Overwatch me, me bruh. Right, so Overwatch time. First Nemesis Dread Knight. Incinerator. Yep. Did he get his plus one invulnerable? You got the plus off? one invulnerable, so okay. he didn't get the death hex off. Four. Four hits. Fives. Yeah. So, that is two wounds. So these are on uh, threes. Love it. Uh, side cannons. Now, do I count as. Is, am I. Oh, I'm here on six anyway, it's relevant. Yeah. Ignore me, Callum. It's uh, all right. One. Oh, well. uh, winning on. A four. There you right. go. So, invulnerable save, chins it off. Uh, the next one, incinerator for three. Went to wound five, so we have two Sweet. wounds. I'm going to get them out of the way. Loves it. And then the side count of sixes, we have the one. And to wound, we have one wound. She loves. Cool. And then his distance, he, he is, is in. Clearly in. Uh, again, we'll we'll show you this because obviously it's Magnus. You want to see him destroying stuff. That's probably why you clicked on this video, didn't you? Because you have no soul. <laughs> so, um, not really. I love you guys. Um, right. That's all of my assaults. Yes. Because I don't want to move off of objectives. That'd be silly. Yeah. Um, so they've got what? Twelve wounds each. Yes. Correct. So he is going to do. And they're both um, on four wounds. Both on four wounds. And which one's the Grand Master? This Grand one? Master's uh, the one on your left. Cool. He's going to do seven attacks uh, on that Grand Master. Cool, on the Grand Master. Yep. I do have my invulnerable save. You do. Sweet. So, hitting on twos of rerolls. So I am Magnus. And I am strength 16, so twos. Yeah. I will use a command point to reroll that one. Yeah. Down to four, yeah? Uh, yep, down to four. So that is six invulnerable saves. So three I damage six, each. four plus. Failing three. How many damage each? Three each. Right, so he would take six damage. Still be in the game. That'd be 12 damage. Three damage each? Yeah. Yes, it would. <laughs> uh, so I need to use a command point to re-roll one of those to keep him alive, right? Yep. Right, so command point, I'm now down to one. Um, and we'll re-roll one, I just need a four plus to keep him alive. No, Ooh. fail, so he is dead, Grandmaster gone. However, I do have another yep. stratagem I could use. I don't know if it's one or two, basically. When he dies, he can try and fight you. He can try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to find it, apologies. So, right. this is one command point. Only in death does duty end. I want to go down in flames. <laughs> Use a stratagem when a Grey Knight's character is slain. Before removing it from the battlefield, that mod model can immediately either shoot as if it were a shooting phase or fight as if it were a fight phase. I'm obviously going to fight. I imagine I will do no wounds, but it's nice to do, and I might as well spend that last command point on something nice. So, the Grand Master has six, sorry, he has five attacks, and he gets plus one for the two uh, Dread Fists. So, hitting on twos and rerolling ones. They all hit. He has strength. Um, 12, I believe? Yeah, 12, so threes. Threes. So we have four wounds. So four 
three up and vulnerable saves, reroll and wins. Oh, reroll those ones. boys. Oh, he of loves course, it. all go through. And then the Nemesis Dread Knight in Grandmaster, blah, 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 dies. Ah, <laughs> uh, but the other Nemesis Dread Knight does get to attack. So he is going to attack five attacks, hitting on threes this time, not re rolling ones anymore because the Grand Master is dead. And then we are going to see if we wound on threes. Yeah, one wound. No, I basically need to to roll twos. That's the only way to get through. Um, that's the end of the combat. That is the end of the combat and phase. That's the end of your turn. Yep. So, in terms of objectives. So, end of Demon's turn two. Callum has secured objective three, taking him up to four victory points. However, uh, he has he is on objective three and two, and if I do not shift him off by the end of my turn, he will score two objective points apiece for these cards here. We'll go over to Grey Knight's turn two. We are on Grey Knight's turn, Sunny turn two, isn't turn it? Two. It's unbelievable. We're on Grey Knight's turn two. I have Witch Hunter, Kingslayer, Assassinate. And as we had in the last turn, the more observant of you will realise that also means kill Magnus. Um, Magnus, however, with his uh, three plus invulnerable save rerunning ones, is very hard to kill with shooting. I can, however, kill him with smite if I get enough through. So it just means I have to be very lucky with dice rolls and Callum has to be very unlucky with dice rolls because I do have enough smite power over there to kill him this turn. Um, other than that, my movement's been quite basic. I have moved these guys here so that some of them are closer to the screamer. Uh, not Screamer, Exalted Flamer. If I kill that Exalted Flamer, it means that I deny Callum uh, Defend Objective 2. Um, but there are some models at the back that are closer to Magnus as well, so I can nominate the Psyker at the back and still get Smite off on Magnus. I don't know, it hasn't been much movement. These guys are just staying up the top of their tower because they're on an objective and they can fire at stuff. There's no point moving. And I am still in combat with the Nemesis Dread Knight. However, you can cast Smite into yep. combat. So that is it, it's very, very quick, and we'll get over to the Psychic Phase straight away. <laughs> okay, so uh, I unfortunately forgot to press record. I've been extremely unlucky with dice rolls. I have rolled Smite with one, two, three squads, and I think I got it off with, did I get off with one um, or two? You but very low denied, rolls. It, denied it twice and failed to cast one. Yeah, so when I was saying I needed those dice rolls, I did not get them. And then this squad is gonna cast Smite on Magnus. Goes off on six. And he will deny that again. Yeah, so I didn't get a single smite through, never mind. Right, moving over to the shooting phase. We cannot shoot Magnus because he's locked in combat with the Nemesis Dread Knights. So we're going to shoot other stuff. This squad here is going to shoot at the Exalted Flamer. This squad here, eight of them can shoot at the Exalted Flamer. And two of them are going to shoot at the Brimstone Horrors. Now, I'm going to do these batches of four because there's quite a lot of shots because they're in rapid fire range. So. Sorry, it's quite difficult. Rolling to hit on threes. Okay. And then rolling to wound on four. Still tough as four, yeah? Yeah, still tough as four. So, I come out here actually. Wounding on fours. So it's a healthy roll. It is a healthy roll. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's got four wounds yep. and a four up save. Oh, uh, so he explodes. Dead. Cool, so I have killed Assassinate, uh, and I've also denied him Defend Objective 2. I now have the two guys who I announced would be shooting at the Brimstone Horrors. Are they in rapid fire? I believe they're uh, in Tuscar. Yeah, they will be. Yeah. Um, so they are going to be hitting on threes. Be hitting on fours, because they'll be standing next to the Ah, of course, you are right. And then Toughness. Uh, toughness three. Okay, wounding on threes. So that's one, two, three, four, five wounds. Okay. Four plus in one over here. Four up again, yep. Yeah. Oh, Passing I love it. Them. Nice, nicely done. Okay, next up we have, next up we have the squad that is at the top of this tower. Sitting still, they're gonna be firing. So the Psy Cannon and two Storm Bowlers are going into the Rogue Psycho Coven just down here. And the rest of the shots are going to the Brimstone Horrors just down here. So we're gonna be rolling to hit. So the side cannon will go first, hasn't moved, so it's hitting on threes for two hits, and then they're going to be wounding on threes. Uh, be on twos, but you know. Oh, twos, yeah, all good. Okay. Um, so just there, five up and vulnerable saves. Yep. Then no, it does two wounds a pop, so. This guy dies. He dies, and he's down to one wound. Then we have two storm bolters coming in. 
they're going to be hitting on threes. Uh, three hits, and then they're going to be wounding on threes, yeah? Mm hmm. Three wounds. Three invulnerable saves. Triple five? Nah. No, okay, so that's, that's a rogue good. psychic coven down. And then we have one, two, three, four more guys shooting at the brimstone horrors. So they're going to be sh hitting them on fours because of the chain thing. And they're going to be wounding them on threes, I mm. assume. Yep. So that is one, two, five. three, four, five wounds. Five, four plus saves. Just the one. And one. So this squad of marines just here are all in range and can see this psycho coven just here. So they're going to be rolling to shoot at them. There are no penalties to hit because they're not demons, correct? That's right, yeah. So rolling to hit, we are hitting on threes. Oh, sorry. Hit on threes. So all hit plus three, and then we're wounding on threes. Yes. We have one, two, three, four wounds. Yep, so just their five up and run will save. Yep. So Failing three, three so one, one dies, yep. and then another one dies. And then uh, they've got three each. So. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, right, that is it for my shooting. Assault phase. Do I just charge everything into Magnus and then just hope that see, it see. kills <laughs> Possibly. It's a very Grey Knighty thing. It kind of is. I mean, he's clearly who? he's he's locked in. I lose yeah. nothing by rolling dice. No, I might as well. Do you guys want to see me charge Magnus with everything and try and kill him? No. And he has ten wounds left. Ten left. Yeah. Right. So screw it. Squad of four. Let's yeah. see if we can charge them in. Six, Six. inches. Yeah, they should be able to make yeah, it. Yeah. So they're within. No, they should be minus two because they're going uh, through. Yeah. So they will Yeah. They only need, you'd need a two on that one of those. I can't yeah. re-roll them. Oh, you've got no dice. No. Oh, okay. Um, and then this squad here, how far would they need? Um, they're going to need a 10. Cool. Yeah. See if they're in. No, they're not. And this squad up here, yeah. is it possible? Yeah. Um, they'd need a 7. To okay. Get no. no. So, I mean, I tried to be noble <laughs> um, and do the thing that people enjoy doing, but it didn't work out. We'll move over to that combat. So, the Nemesis Dread Knight is going to fight first. He has, I believe, uh, I assume he probably has less attacks. So he probably has four attacks base. I'm just going to double check that. Yeah. Okay, he has four attacks base plus one for the uh, fists, hitting on threes. Just the one hit. Oh. Wow, that's what you need. Wounding on threes. Uh, no oh. fails to wound. Nothing. I'm done. So, Magnus will swing back at him. Yeah, Magnus is hit. Two is Oh, wow. That's more like it. I think we've lost our, our Nemesis Dread Knight. And twos. Um, I'll reroll one of those. So I'm down to three command points. Yep. And um, so it's five invulnerable saves. Cool. So five, five plus invulnerable saves. Uh, failing one, two, three, four. Mm. How many wounds apart? Three each. So he's dead. Twelve, yep. Boom. Dead on. That is the end of the Nemesis Dread Knight. Uh, in terms of objectives, I have secured um, Witch Hunter for one and Assassinate for one. So that takes me up to seven victory points. Yep. And Callum will score Defend Objective 3 for two. Right, so we have decided to call the game there just because you guys probably now know the outcome. Uh, only being three squads of Grey Knights left, it is literally just clean up duty for the demons. I did surprisingly better than I thought I would in terms of killing stuff. However, Magnus is just such a beast and he's just going to run away with it now, which is absolutely fine. I think if I did have first hand, it might be so different, but we're going to discuss all that in the post-game debrief. Okay, the game is finished. We called it on turn three after your turn two after my turn two so barely yeah. even turn three um and the reason we called it is because the outcome was becoming fairly obvious once i lost those nemesis dread knights i think the demons were just on mop-up duty um i think that seizing the initiative did have an impact if yeah, i went let's first, not deny that <laughs> no it, it definitely did have an impact i think if i went first the outcome still probably would have been the same it would have just taken another turn or two I yeah reckon. Poss possibly um if Magnus hadn't been given the opportunity to just do everything he wanted, yeah, and um, then he could have been um, severely wounded or, or even dead. Um, if John was lucky enough in his first turn, and that would have really changed the, the way the game would have had to be played, um, especially on my end. 
Yeah, so Magnus wouldn't have had his plus one to invulnerable saves, which was a big thing. Yeah, it's a big key thing. It's then. a very big thing. The, the main way that I stripped wounds off Magnus was through psychic powers when he had denied all he could deny. And yeah. There was nothing else around to deny. That's when I started really stripping the wounds off. Shooting, I, I didn't do a single wound through shooting or close combat. No, no. It was all through yeah. psychic powers. Yeah, chilled everything else off. And the three wounds for demons going out against demons automatically do three wounds instead of d3 is brilliant yeah um like i needed that but obviously it wasn't enough but hey ho um you did get to see some really good plays from callum um you can learn a lot by watching games like this i know it was a bit of a um like a, just annihilation although i didn't get like i did no, i killed could, more stuff than you, i thought yeah, I, I would did, kill you you had the lead throughout the game yeah yeah um, it just it would have slowly shifted yeah. because you would have just been able to get everything or eventually table um, but you could see the plays that Callum was making in terms of board deployment you were talking earlier about how you've been playing a lot of Age of Sigmar and about board control do you want to talk about that yeah so we found out um, from moving over to Age of Sigmar earlier this year that uh, board control and uh, from where you can have your models prevents uh, where people's reserves can come on so yeah. that nine inch buffer if you can string out your your, your chod units, basically, mm -hmm. um, you can really put a damper on where your opponent can go. So seizing the initiative in my turn, um, essentially I had bubble wrapped to protect all of my characters and try and protect Magnus as much as possible. Um, but it meant that I could go assault John's backfield stuff as well as create a big no-go area in the middle of the board where those dreadnoughts, uh, dreadnoughts couldn't arrive. Um, and that really pushed them to the back of the board. It meant that I could then deal with them in my next turn. It really limited my options, which was a smart move. Darren's here as well, by the way, he was napping on the sofa. Um, so that was that. Uh, we also talked about uh, improving the Grey Knight list. So I put together what I could figure out would be as powerful a list I, as I could figure out. However, we went to Nando's, Yep, as you do. Um, and we were discussing there about how to improve the list and Callum came up with some really good ideas for improving the Grey Knight list. So I'm going to do this, so you'll see this soon and don't worry, you will see more Grey Knight battle reports. I'm going to do quite a lot of them because obviously it's a new codex and I haven't played them much lately and they are getting good and interesting to play again, which is nice. So they'll be on a lot more. Um, however, the new list was basically using purifiers. So I did a review of the Grey Knight codex and I didn't think purifiers were that great. Um, but I misjudged them yeah. quite a lot. The, the ability for them to always put out uh, D6 mortal wounds with their smites, as long as you've got the correct support to get them across the board, they can be, uh, they can be quite devastating. If they had got into Magnus and done 3D6 worth of smites, yeah. that's, a, that's a huge chunk of his wounds gone, or, um, or even to opposing vehicles or large combat units that are going to be in your face. So several units of those in a Land Raider Crusader, yeah. which is what I think uh, John's going to be going for, um, gives him a large amount of units um, to hold in reserve, because he'll have four or five units just deployed uh, in that Land Raider and the Land Raider itself, and limits the amount of deployment drops as well, which is a yeah. big influencer on the game at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's something that you'll likely see. Um, and we were also talking about having to maximise command points, having a battalion detachment of Inquisitor Greyfax. Yeah, Gray, Inquisitor. Uh, Greyfax. Sounds good, I think. Uh, yeah. uh, Greyfax, either another Inquisitor or a Tempesta Prime, mm -hmm. and yeah, some um, Tempesta Scions to drop in, give some Melter and Plasma cover across the board. Um, really will help with the board control angle uh, that we were discussing earlier and give the list a bit more of a um, shoot your punch as well. Yeah, and um, I have realised this, and we were discussing this earlier as well, because uh, this this is a tournament list that Callum is taking to a tournament tomorrow and did take to a tournament last week, yeah. and there is a tournament coming up, another one, another confrontation event, which is the one that Callum's going to tomorrow in October, which is in Portsmouth. So I'm looking up my list to take for that, which is what we are discussing now. Um, but I've lost my train of thought. Okay. So. I know we are. Yeah. Let's go. And also you the Heat 2 of the GT in December. Yes, and yeah, the GT. That's a big one. End so of the year. In an earlier bat rep, I think I said we were going to the one in January, February, I can't remember. Three. We're going to Heat 2 now, by the way. So if you are coming and you want to say hi, please say hello. So I realised, and we discussed this earlier, that a lot of tournament games 
you just try and wipe out your opponent, it's easier. Um, yeah, I mean, you've, you've still got to build into the fact that you're going to need to take objectives. Yeah. And um, as you could have seen um, in the list that I was playing, I wasn't actually that great as going out and getting the tactical objectives. No, but you had um, so much board control, you were just on them. Yeah. Of. So if, if John had gone first, um, my board control would have been next to naught because I'd have had three Dread Knights in front of me and three planes in front of me, which really limited my movement. Mm -hmm. um, without Magnus, possibly a Helldrake as well, some of my um, smaller units as well would have been gone. And that would have really limited my effect on the game. Um, so with a list like that, where that's so large at the moment, um, it's very rare that I do go first. Yeah. Um, so that, that's um, built into the redundancy of the list is all the different units and models of the same characters. Um, but if you do go out to, to wipe out your opponent, you really need to make sure you're going first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, Darren's got a point where you got. Oh, I was going to ask if anyone has any ideas. Most people put in uh, to the comments section things that they would like to see. Mm -hmm. I'm just interested to see what sort of armies that people in general want want to see us bring. That's a good idea. Yeah. 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 So that's, right, that's the question to you guys. Please do so. Write down what you want because we are working towards that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please press subscribe, share with your friends. That would be greatly appreciated. Anything you can do to help boost the videos a little bit. But thank you very much for watching. Check out some of the other videos and we'll see you soon.